guys. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. So today I've had delivery of one of my favourite comedy films of all time, the classic National Lampoon's Animal House, directed by John Landis and starring the late great John Belushi. Unfortunately, he passed away very young, um, and it was a shame because he was he was just a genius when it came to making comedy films. So if you've not seen any of his films, check this one out: Blues Brothers and 1942. Um, but he he was he's one of my favourite actors of all time. And let's take a look at what you get with this edition. So you get your J card, and this is the edition it comes in. On the back, there's your languages. Let's remove the J card. Now the good thing is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The artwork is still the same. They've just polished it up. So they've kept the original artwork, and when the film was released back in 78, um, that's how old this film is. I'm feeling old now. And there you go. That's Pluto, one of the main characters, John Belushi. And inside here, this is the actual uh, university itself, which is Faber University, and that was the founder. And then I just love this. Again, they've kept the original artwork from the movie on this as well, which is all the main people from the Delta House who cause all the problems on this campus. That's your side. Then inside it, you get your Blu-ray, and then you get your 4K Ultra, and then you've got stills from the film. The soundtrack to this film is amazing too. Um, and you've even got Donald Sutherland in there as well. So that's just still what you get. Then you get um, four art cards with characters from the films in there. And it comes in a nice little envelope. And these are a glossy one. So this is uh, Pinto, that's Pluto, and that's Flounder. And it's really based around these two guys' initiation into the Delta House and the parties um, and the chaos that ensures around it. Uh, Pluto has a crush on her, but I can't remember her name. And what goes on there is is really funny. Uh, there's a, a, a scene in the girl's uh, dorm, which is just insane. And there you go. That's the guys on the car. They take this car out for a drive, which is uh, Pluto's car, his uncle's car. And it just gets told. And then that's a scene from the toga party that the Delta, uh, that the Delta campus has. And that gets insane too. Then you've got an updated yearbook. So that gives you some bits in there about the script. And then it tells you about the members of each fraternity. And then they've put their own little um, twist to each of their, um, what should we say, their impressions of them. There you go. And so that's nicely done. They're the main characters in the film there. Um, D-Day is classic. Um, again, and you've got Otter, which is one of the main um, members of the Delta House. And he comes up with a lot of ideas to cause havoc. Now, back in, oh my gosh, 82, okay, I got this film. And this was the very first movie I ever brought. And this is, this shows you how old it is. You can see how discolored it is. And this is pre cert So back in the early 80s, before movies got uh, PG 15 or 18, there was a set of movies that come out. And there's been a video nasties one, really. Um, but I managed to get hold of Animal House. Little did I know that this film here, this first film, the one that I brought for like, I think it was like £10. It was an insane price um, off one of the dodgy shops. And I think I was only about, my God, I think I was only about 10 at the time or something. I think it was about 10 or 12, about, about 84, I think it was. Um, and I managed to get this film. And little did I know all these years later that I would be collecting film still. So you can see how old this is. Um, and there you go. So the artwork, that was on the original one. I mean, this came out in 78. I got this in, I'm sure it was 84. I think it was 84 when I got this. And you can still see that they've kept um, the artwork the same because there was just no need to change it. Um, but this film, yeah, started off my movie collection. And there's no certificates on this. And you can tell how they'd done things back in those days when it wasn't about um, oh, getting everything exactly right. It was just print a cover off, put it in there, and then that was it. And there you go, look, a pre VHS tape. Um, I'd never get rid of it. I'd always keep it because, you know, it's just part of what I got when I was growing up. But little did I know that this film would start off my movie collection. But anyway, listen, guys, thanks for watching. I um, hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. Take care and uh, see you on my next vlog.